Hello friends, it's Aga from Arvis Artists and today I have another bonus video for you. Last week the Chaos Group released a new beta version of Vray 5. Few days later I shared with you my first look at the key features of this new update. If you haven't watched this yet, make sure to check this out. The link will be in the corner. Now, let's talk about new features in Vray 5. Let me show you what's new and let me share with you my opinion on this. Now we have access to material presets. We can just click here and choose the material we need. So easy. When we choose a preset, settings are automatically adjusted. There are different versions of metal, like rough or brushed. You can see that the roughness value is changing. Let me show you a couple of examples. There are all the materials we use. I personally don't miss anything here. It's a great way to save time. You don't have to use materials straight from the preset. You can just load it and tweak to your needs. They also created a new material preview, similar like in Corona, so we can see how the material will look rendered. We can see the lights in the reflections, so setting up reflection and glossiness values would be way easier. Next big update is called Layer. It adds reflective coating directly in the material. It works similarly to the blend material. We can adjust all the options we need and add texture. Now there is no need to use blend material for simple materials, which can save some time. Also, we don't have to switch in between materials to set it up. I think that's a great move to have everything in one place. They added a shin layer which helps to render soft microfiber fabrics like velvet, satin and silk. Normally we would have to add a falloff map to do this, but now it's much more simplified and again, in one place. You can still use falloff if you need, but I think this option gives a much better result. You can control a color or use a texture.
Shin glossiness controls the effect. It's just one parameter, but I haven't got any problems to set it up like I want. This is my favorite new feature. Next, we have a new Vray Multi Sub Texture. We can randomize textures based on, for example, object elements. We can change the number of slots and assign colors. This map will distribute them randomly. We can add textures as well. Usually, we use a multi-texture plugin from CGI Source, but this map works much better, mostly because you can plug and unplug maps and don't have to load them. We can also mix them up with the color. Like in multi-texture, we can add some randomization to the colors, which is great. We use it all the time. You can delete unused slots with this button too. This option is golden. Have a look at this render. We clearly can see a lot of tiling is happening. Now we can add very UVW randomizer texture and remove it with one simple option. Just check stochastic tilling and adjust the tile band. Unbelievable! Say goodbye to stamping in Photoshop. I said the shin layer is my favorite feature, but this one is even better. Last but not least, a very UVW randomizer map. I showed it a bit when I discussed the previous part, but you can do so much more than just remove tiling with this map. Let's randomize it by element, because that's how my model is divided. You can randomize position rotation and scale of the texture. It works really well.
You can use just one map on tiles like this and the final result is really awesome. It is also very easy to use. All in all, it's a great progress. I really love these new features. They are much better than I've expected. They make a workflow much faster and easier with all these material presets, sheen and code layers and texture randomization. So from my side, I can say great job, the Chaos Group. Now let's add these features to Corona 2. To be honest, after testing all these features, it will be really hard to decide if it's better to stay with Corona or come back to VA. Okay, I think that's it for today. Thanks for watching and also don't forget to like this video if you found this interesting, share it, subscribe and do all these wonderful things. See you guys in the next video!